He definitely was Wade's cat. If, um, if Wade was out of town, Buster would actually get depressed and he would mope. Yeah. So I was only good for car rides and can openers. The SBCA had a temporary, um, I guess, oh, store, so you want to call? SBCA. Yeah, yeah, in, in Market Mall. Mall. And I walked by one day and I looked at Buster's and I just, this is a little orange thing. I couldn't get over him. And so. Uh, he had this little slash. Yeah, little, little white slash. slash. And a very Roman nose, very long nose. Joan surprised me uh, one day by going and picking him up and I was worried about, you know, losing him kind of thing. And, and we, brought, <laughs> we brought him home to the apartment and he just fit right in immediately. We had our own company. He went to work every day with us. We went out to the driveway, we just walk. He would uh, I'd tell him which vehicle we were going to take and, you know, if it was my car for the day or my truck for the day, or, you know, he'd go to that vehicle and wait for me to let him in. Bringing Buster to work every day was a huge um, icebreaker, even for a lot of customers. He had to sit and be part of it. He'd come and sit by the table or come and greet everybody. You know, there's lots of times I'm trying to put a, a manifold bolt on my old 1950 Dodge and he'd be laying on the flathead engine reaching down with his paw trying to touch my hand you know um, if he could have got tools he would have but you know <laughs> he had the mail lady train she would bring treats and so every day he would sit and look at her and before she could even get the mail down he wanted his treats he was he was my service animal um, I have anxiety issues and traveling is hard for me and he loved hotel rooms. So as soon as he would get into a hotel, he would start purring and not stop till we left. Him being comfortable relaxed me. The very first time Wade said I'm going to put him in a carrier and take him on the bike, I said, there's no way, he's going to be scared. So he said, well, put him in the carrier, I'll go around the block and see what he thinks. And. Um, he went around the block and he said, how is he? And I said, he's fine. I came out of Princess Auto one night and uh, there was this really nice white road king sitting there and I walked over to it. And so this big fella comes out behind me. I mean, I mean, big guy, no neck, you know, like and the tattoos, the whole nine yards, everything you think is a stereotypical biker, right? And as it is, he belonged to one of the well-known gangs here in town. And uh, he looked over my bike and Buster's on the back and he goes, you got a cat with you? We went over, we sat for 45 minutes on the curb talking about cats. He said his cat's name was Pudding and, and he couldn't get Pudding to ride with him. And he just amazed that I'll bust her and ride with me. He went on the boat. He oh, had, love fishing, yeah. He had his own life jacket. It was a small dog life jacket. He had to sleep yeah. against me. I had to sleep on my right <clears throat> side. I was never allowed to sleep on anything but my right side because yeah. he had to be full length. So maybe 10 centimeters sure. yeah, shoulder, shoulder. It's been about six times his life that he was supposed to be put down. Yeah. Well, he beat diabetes three times. You know, insulin every day. We tested his ears, tested his blood glucose. Glucose. Yeah. He was he was starting to slow down the last couple of years. He still wanted to go with Wade. All of a sudden, he um, he wasn't walking so well on Tuesday uh, before Father's Day. We tried hydration. We put saline solution under the skin and he just wasn't coming back. So we took him in the next day, she did some tests and she said he's, his kidneys are failing. He slept a lot. Slept a lot. We thought, you know, maybe he'll come out of it, maybe he'll be okay. He wasn't doing good. About nine o'clock. Right at sunset. Right at sunset, he was in the backyard. He actually crawled to the, the deck. He meowed at Wade, Wade went to pick him up. And within five minutes he was gone. He died in Wade's arms about 9.30 on Father's Day. The day he died was a rough one. Um, we, uh, we were lost. Uh, we took him to for, for acclimation on the Monday. And I said to Joe, and I said, how about if we just go to the SBCA and uh, put a donation in his name? Oh, well, we were dying to Trish. And she was really good. I, she really actually helped me. Um, we talked for about an hour about, you know, losing pets and, and, and then we talked about, I kind of called Wade the Cat Whisperer because animals love Wade and they respond to him so well. She said, just a second. And she went into Jasmine's office and there was little Tubbs. He was about five weeks old 
and they didn't know where his mom had gone. He was all by himself. He was kind of feral. They brought him out to Wade, and he just reached out a little paw, grabbed, grabbed his shirt, snuckled under his... Well, he leaped out of her hands onto my chest, crawled up in here, and went to sleep under my beard. So after we left, the first day we met little Tugger, and then we were talking about possibly fostering. And as we drove away, we got maybe half a mile, half a mile away, and all of a sudden this chunk of buster fur floated up from under the seats. And I cleaned the vehicle. And we have no idea where it came from. We have no idea where it came from. So I've never it was seen another like one a, since. <laughs> yeah, it was like a sign from Buster. But it just a little piece of fur, white fur, hung there. It hung between the two of us. Didn't go anywhere. Just hung. So we stopped and grabbed it, and Chris kept it. We decided to foster him, and he was so little. He was um, sh I'm shaky. He could barely walk. So the first couple of nights, um, I barely got any sleep because he slept with us, and I was so worried about squishing him. And he was lonely, and he kind of cried. And, and uh, we started feeding him, and he started gaining weight. And he was um, a happy little kitten. So he's very, <laughs> he's very busy. Yes, I know, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> but. He is a kitten. He's a very much a very active kitten. Aren't and we haven't right? had a kitten in the house for decades. These guys are, are sleepy, so um, I'm not used to having this crazy wild thing. I can't imagine that, you know, if we'd left him at the SPCA, what would have happened to him? Whether he, you know, being in a cage, being all alone, um, I just can't imagine it. And all those poor kitties there, they really need, they need homes. <laughs> if we could adopt everybody, we would. <laughs> we're, we're the crazy cat people, obviously. Yeah, thank you, but. Tugger. So we had taken him to our vet just for a checkup and uh, she found a heart murmur. So we're still working with the SPCA in a foster to adopt situation, because Tugger is definitely ours. Oh yeah, he's not going anywhere now. Six months, six years, whatever it is. Look at him. You know, he's racing around. You never know whether there's anything wrong with him. Come on, buddy. That's the boy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. But he loves the truck. He, he'll, he'll crawl up on the dash. Actually, a lot of times he sits on my shoulder when I'm driving. I've taken him on walks. I've already leash training him. Uh, he's been out in the bush on a hike with me. And I, and I almost swear sometimes that when Buster passed away, he went to Little Tugger and said, look, <clears throat> mom and dad are really sad. Here's some stuff you need to do for me. He's got some Buster qualities. He's, um, you know, he likes the car. He sits on the dash. He does things like Buster does. He's Wade's cat. <laughs> I'm second best again. He's too humble. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people said, you know, you should wait with after after Buster, but the house was just so quiet. We were so sad. <clears throat> he doesn't replace Buster. He's a whole new entity on his own. We still must Buster every single day, but we we're really happy with the joy that the Tugger does bring. So it's amazing how your heart can love so much and, and still be so sad and miss somebody. But um, we're we're really glad we got Tugger.